What's the crack, lads? We are back with a player pack review. This time we're taking a look at the Masterful Stars. Now, obviously, you can get these guys for free with a one player nominating contract that is a five star or a four star this is the full list of them here so i have done training guys for pretty much all these players so i'm gonna not i'm not gonna cover like the likes of fabinho marquinhos and kiesa too much because we know what we're getting they're the picks of the pack lads you know what you're going to be getting with them you're going to get like 94 95 rated versions of these that are going to be monsters fabinho and marquinhos are both excellent dmf CB or, or center back CBs um that you can put into any squad right uh, Marquinhos is identical to the Brazilian pack version of him that I have covered before and look you know what you're getting with these three guys they're going to be monsters and they are the picks of the pack right but we will cover them towards the end this guy does kind of excite me a little bit a few people told me about this guy when I was streaming the other day and he does look very decent right we're not going to spend too much time on this because I do think that unless you're really starting out you're not going to find like room in these in this squad for a lot of these players right which is a bit of a pity i think if they had come at the start of the campaign i definitely think they would have been more there would have been more of an impact with these type of nominating contract players but hopefully for eFootball 2024, we will be able to get guys like this that will make a massive impact on your squad. Like, look at the stats this guy has. Unwavering form, player skills out the wazoo. He goes 30 levels as well, um, which is insane. So you can train him up in multiple ways. He can play pretty much anywhere across the middle of the pitch, left to right, CMF, AMF, and SS. If I was going to be training him up because he is a whole player, I would definitely recommend as an AMF. You don't really need to focus too much on shooting. We can get that to 75. Obviously, the low pass is going to be vitally important for this player, so we can get that to 85. And then you're talking about the dribbling, getting that dribbling, the tight possession to 85, and then the dexterity to 80 to have that explosiveness, and then a little bit of speed and stamina if you want that as well. You've got a very solid player there that's going to be able to compete with some good teams he's only a four star as well so you could actually get him and play him as a really solid uh whole player if you're looking for something different we also have Trincao here this guy is a very very good super sub very decent player in the game he's not going to be meta i don't think a lot of people are talking about you know different types of players that are going to be you know able to be used i don't think that this guy is going to be meta because you know you're not going to be able to have that speed or acceleration and you need that if you're looking at a winger in the game right he does max out quite nice he does have a nice double touch and um heel trick combination there and the super sub is where you need to go with him if you want to you know if you want to be playing him that way but even if you max out his dexterity with 17 points you're not going to get that acceleration up so straight away he's kind of a red flag for me that he's not going to have high balance which is even vi more vitally important than the acceleration right obviously we can get the dribbling up quite high to 99 or 93 or 90 there if you want you can even get him at, to have a bit of speed and stuff like that and the passing is not going to be too bad but he's just an average winger you know he's probably one of the the guys that you probably had if you started your journey a long time ago um you'll probably have replaced him by now we also have this right back from psg mukiela mukiela or mokiela i think it's mukiela um he's more of a crosser right he has got standard form he's got some really good player skills the player skills have kind of become a little bit more irrelevant now because you can give different player skills with additional skills to other you know to other player cards so it is slightly more about the the actual play style and the stats and how these guys can train up um you know you're going to have good speed with this guy he's got 26 levels to go fairly decent is he worth your four star i possibly don't think so there's a lot of really good right backs defensively he's not bad a lot of people have been asking me whether they would go for him or not but i think if you train up his dribbling and you train up his on the ball stuff you're going to miss out on his defense if you train up his defense you're going to miss out on that you're never going to get the defensive engagement up super high and the offensive awareness of super high so you're going to have a bit of a a bit of a you know you're you're look he's not the worst right back but we've reviewed about i would say a hundred of these right backs over the last year um well maybe a hundred is an exaggeration but we have reviewed a lot of them and they're all kind of handling the same similar with lafont i wouldn't really recommend lafont either there's only three goalkeepers i would recommend even though this guy's got some insane player skills and he does have standard form there with b rating the only players I would recommend for goalkeeper, I definitely wouldn't recommend a four star um, unless you're playing specifically that, right? We also have Aronson here. This guy's kind of exciting as well. Um, he is down as a five star, which is obviously, you know, going to put him into category. If he was a four star, he'd definitely be the pick of the, the four star pack. Um, he's got some nice stats. Obviously, you can give him some lovely stats if you train him up correctly. A little bit of a concern with his passing, we'll show you there in a second, and his speed. You know, you have to go to 
you're going to have to pick exactly how you want to train him up. But he does have good stats. I was actually impressed with him that he does go fairly high with the stats, especially his speed and acceleration um, with a little bit of shooting knocked in as well. If you look here, that is how I would train him up as an AMF. All these players have team play style locked at 90, so you're good to go with them. And this is definitely the best version of him. This guy had 47 levels, obviously. You can get him close to this rated, but this guy is still the best, in my opinion. Um, but he's not worth a five star man you know you're putting him into the category then of um, you know Fabinho Marquinhos and Chiesa who you know you're just not going to be able to compete Zaniola is quite decent as well Alvarez a little bit of a kind of a, a different DMF because he's got a bit of um, everything about him you know especially with the blocker and the interception I do like this guy he would also be a pick of the four stars I'd say for me I would definitely get him and uh, test him out if you're looking for something a bit different because he's got one touch pass and blocker and fighting spirit as well as man marking interception and low off the pass so he's a very unique card especially when you train him up you can get 90 tackling on him you can also get about 75 acceleration and speed which is good passing you'll have all the player skills to kind of counteract every weakness that he has so I do rate him as a destroyer we also have Zaniola and David, look, David is is fairly decent. We had him as a bit of a hidden gem as well. One touch pass, first time shot, double touch, excellent. You know, he's a nice height, nice weight, nice everything. Play style, he's on D rating this week, so that's a bit of a pity. But you should probably have a better center forward by now. Um, You know, you can get 90 acceleration, but you're not going to be able to get the balance and the offensive awareness up with the finishing in the high 80s. So that's just something that you need to pick um, and choose with. I mean, if he had 28 levels instead of 22, I definitely think he would be worth it. But for now, I would say no. Um, We also have Zaniola. This guy is just a little bit too slow, in my opinion, with the standard form. Um, you know, and his live update never really gets um, updated too much. Now, if you give him super sub with additional skills, I think it'd be, he could be worth a conversation. Definitely. We've covered Marquinhos and Fabinho in a lot of detail, right? Fabinho is a very, very good DMF, but an even better CB, especially at center back with this card. It's an insane card because he has lack of speed and acceleration compared to other versions that they released of him, but he has got, you know, defensive stats that go into the 90s. We've already covered that on the training guides. If you've missed them, check them out. And Marquinhos is the same. Marquinhos is an identical card to his Brazilian pack one unwavering form, goes into the 90s with all defense, and the speed and acceleration can go to 75, which is incredible for a CB. They're no-brainers, lads, if you're looking for a CB or a DMF. They can both play in those positions. Kia said then, everything going for him is a super sub. Obviously, you know, he's not as special now because of the super sub ability that you're able to give to everybody. But unwavering form, double touch. He doesn't have one touch pass, which would make this card killer. But he does have excellent speed and acceleration in off the bench. Probably one of the best super subs in the whole game. So... Yeah, let's look. I would say my picks of this pack, if I was to do it, would be, I would say, Kiesa and then either one of the two of these. I would probably go with Marquinhos. I've already bought him. Uh, Aronson, if he was a four-star, would have been a no-brainer. And then I think these two boys as well are quite decent. Uh, Mukiela and uh, Alvarez are quite decent as well as Pereira. A lot of people raving about Pereira, but whole players, you can get better versions of whole players than Pereira. Um, and I do think that, you know, once his... Uh, his kind of shine wears off there'll be better players like whole player pedri and that they're left so that is it for me lads i'll be back soon with another training guide anything that i missed let me know in the comments below anything that you request any suggestions let me know we'll get on it and do a video about it until next time peace